Admiral Horty, one time dictator of Hungary, lost his usefulness to Hitler when his country changed sides. 77 year old Horty was put under SS guard. There he stayed till the Americans opened up his castle prison. Seisinkvat, another thug high on the wanted list. The Dutch people number him among their war criminals for his vicious activities when he ruled Holland for the Nazis. Karl Hermann Frank, ex-deputy protector of Bohemia and Moravia. This shifty-eyed weasel has been indicted by the Czechoslovak government for murder and worse. It's that man again, General Dietmar, radio voice of the German high command. When it came to handing out lies over the air, Ananias could have picked up a tip or two from Dietmar. Pretty well all the top-ranked German generals are in the bag by now. Here is Field Marshal von Kleist. He smashed Poland in 1939 and boasted he would take Moscow in 1941 have plenty of time now to work out just where his plans went wrong. Field Marshal von Rundstedt, the man who led the last German counter-offensive in the Ardennes Salient. Now he's a prisoner in Britain. Look at that face. Is there a stonemason in the house? Judging by his expression, Field Marshal Kesselring isn't worried as to his future prospects. Since these pictures were taken, public opinion in Britain and America has told these arrogant so-and-sos to expect nothing but plain hard justice. Grand Admiral Dönitz, the man who wanted to be Hitler's successor. He once boasted his U-boat would starve Britain into submission. Now he's on the list for trial by an Allied military tribunal. Lastly, the fat thug in person. As far back as 1933, this man ordered the killing of 1,600 of his personal enemies. Guns before butter, Goering said, in days when his belly and his medals were so prominent. Behind this contemptible sham is the twisted brain that ordered the Luftwaffe to bomb Coventry and London, and by a stroke of the pen wiped out Lidice. The world's number one war criminal waits his trial. The blood of innocent thousands demands that justice be swift and sure.